This video covers section 143 of Hansen and Quinn's Greek, an intensive course, and it talks all about the verb oida. You'll find this verb in Hansen and Quinn on pages 546 to 547. This verb, oida esomai, looks a little strange in the first principle part, and that's because that principle part which we expect to be the present tense and have an omega at the end or perhaps a me at the end doesn't. It has an alpha because really it's a perfect that we use as the present. It's from the same root as the one we use as the aorist of horao, adon, because when I have seen something then it's in my head and I know it. And so a lot of what we're going to see with how to form the verb oida in all of its moods and tenses is going to look perfect, but we're going to translate it in the present. We're going to use three different stems. Oid for the present, that is to say the perfect in the indicative singular. Id for the present, that is to say perfect in the indicative plural. And id in the present, that is to say, perfect imperative. And then everywhere else we're going to use ada or aid. So let's start with the present indicative active. We'll use the stem oid for the singular and we'll get oida. Now in the second person singular that delta switches to a sigma before the ending and we get oista. And then oida, which has a new movable. Then in the plural, we switch to the other stem, id, and we get ismen, again with the delta changed to a sigma, ista, and isasi, with a new movable. In what we would call the imperfect indicative active, we'll have the past indicative augment and endings on that first principal part, but we'll really be thinking about it as the pluperfect. We'll translate it though as I knew. So now we need the everywhere else stem, and when we augment that, we get an ADA with an iota subscript at the beginning. So ADA, I knew, or ADAIN with that alternate perfect ending for I knew. Edesta, again with a delta change to a sigma, with the alternative Edes. And the third person singular, Ede or Edain with its new movable. In the plural, Acemen or Edemen, again we get some change of the delta into a sigma. Aste or edata, and eson, or edason. So again, we're going to call this imperfect, but it's pluperfect because I had seen and therefore I knew. The third person plural eson is the same form as the imperfect of Amy, I will go. So remember that both of those possibilities exist. When we get into the subjunctive, we're going to have our old familiar endings and we're going to use the everywhere else stem. And what we'll get is edo, edes, ede, edomen, edete, edosi. And the accent will be over the ending. For the optative, we'll use the everywhere else stem and we'll use the endings that have been familiar since we got the aorist optative passive and we will get a deyen, a deyes, a deye, a deyemen, a deyeta, a deyesan with the alternate plural a deyemen, a deyeta, a deyen. And you could hear that we didn't take that accent back any farther than the iota of the ending. The present participle is again going to use the ADA or AID stem for everywhere else and we'll get a nominative 
that looks pretty perfect. A dos, a duia, a dos. It looks very much, those endings are the perfect participle active endings that you already know. And so in the genitive, from which you can get the rest of the declension, we'll have a dotos, a duias, a dotos. The present imperative active is going to send us back to the id stem, and we'll get isthi, isto, iste, and istone. So notice again that it's the id stem, but pretty much everywhere that delta changes to a sigma. The second person singular of the imperative is identical with the second person singular of the verb amy, I am. So remember when you see this word that isthi can be telling someone to know or isthi can be telling someone to be and look at your context and see which one makes more sense. The present infinitive active is going to look familiar in a perfect sort of way because the ending that we're going to use is the one you learned as the per perfect infinitive active when you first learned the perfect tense. And so what we'll get when we choose the everywhere else stem is a denai. And that's the whole conjugation of the words that we get from the first principal part of oida, a very common and very important word in Greek.